up? We are back with another video. Welcome or welcome back. In today's video in my channel, which is your channel, I'm about to show you the best of 2020. I have all my makeup that I literally use back to back. This is another specific order. I love everything that I have right here in front of me. This is products that I literally use every day. I'm gonna be putting the prices right here and also in my description box down below. So first I'm gonna introduce you to the foundation that I use every day. And even when I don't use it, I wanna use it. But of course I have so many foundations that I have to kinda rotate them, but when I don't use this foundation, I feel guilty. I'm using and abusing this foundation right here from Huda Beauty, guys. I know that it's almost brand new. It came out a few months ago, almost at the end of the year. But guys, no shit, literally, I don't know how much foundation I use out of this thick right here. I have to buy a backup because every time I use it, I'm like, damn, I'm running out. I know that it doesn't come with a lot, but this is how much I have left. I did use quite a lot of it, guys. This foundation just literally won my heart. It's my perfect shade. It, it is so easy to blend, guys. It is just incredible. It I also like to use it on top of other foundations like if I'm wearing another foundation and I still need a little bit more coverage here and there I like to use this baby to get a little bit of extra coverage now I have a concealer guys I have right here this Pamagraph concealer and I have two shades one for spa concealer and then the other one for my under eyes. I have the number seven for my under eyes and the number 10 for the rest of my face this concealer guys since it came out trust me when i tell you that i have to put it to the side i have to like put it kind of like all the way back so i don't see it because if i see it i'm going to want to use it this is the perfect concealer it has the perfect coverage but at the same time it feels so weightless so comfortable on your under eyes it have never creased on my under eyes since it came out which a couple of months ago i swear i cannot put it down i have it on me right now i want to wear it all the times with makeup without makeup it's just the perfect concealer talking about pomegranate i'm also hooked hooked all the way hooked to this blurring under eye powders i have the shade medium and the shade light the shade light it is literally a translucent shade as you can see it's completely white and this is just a beautiful powder guys it's so finely milled it's so thin it is a perfect for your under eyes since it came out and never creased my under eyes and never cracked my under eyes and both of these powders work perfect with whatever concealer you put on trust me i use this babies with all the concealers that i have and it works beautiful with all of them i use the light one for my under eye and sometimes when i'm doing like a whole makeup no makeup look and i'm only spotting concealer around my face i like to set the concealer with this one another new part that it won my heart and that i totally love like it was like love at first sight it is this a baby from Givenchy. this is the primes libre and this is actually a color corrector loose powder you're gonna see the purple the peach the green orange and when i'm telling you that this loose powder does the job it does the job guys it's gonna help you with whatever hyperpigmentation whatever little more you want to cover on your face there's times that I have used other powders to set my foundation, but then I have like a little mark right here, a little mark right here, and then I only grab a little bit of this powder to cover those little marks and it blurts them out. Besides blurting your imperfections, your marks and all that, it also blurs your pores. It's like I have a filter on my face. It's so smooth everything looks blurred out it works beautiful with whatever foundation i have on i recommended this powder to so many of my friends and they're all love it guys Givenchy. if i'm not wearing the Givenchy, i'm wearing this one but i like to say my foundation with the Givenchy because of the whole it helps with the color correcting of your face and this one that I'm about to show you I like to use it more for like to snatch my face 
and because it blurs my pores like no other loose powder and i'm talking about this baby right here guys from patrick star this is from the one size fit all brand and i know i know it's almost new it can i recognize a good loose powder from a mile away guys and this baby it's the perfect formula for a loose powder it's not too thick it's not too thin i love it and besides me loving the powder i love this a freaking powder puff right here since i got it i haven't put it down i love to use it to snatch my face and make my life 10 times easier i need to be snatched honey and this little puff right here hmm, i don't use powder puff i don't use powder puff i either throw them out or i have like a like a jar with all of them in there with the ones that i like the most that either because i like the shape or i like whatever i save them but i don't use them and this baby oh my freaking gosh if you like to snatch your face buy this powder puff i just grab a little bit of powder and it literally go like that and i'm snatched contour 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 if you know me then you know what contour palette i'm about to show you because i'm a big fan of this contour palette and i have right here my scott Burnt contour palette guys it feels old like you know when you use something and you use something so much that it starts to like look like oh my god help <laughs> i think this palette is asking for help of how much i use it i'm about to hit pen in this shade right here i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it in the darker shade but yes i'm about to hit pen right there guys and this is just the perfect palette the perfect contour palette i like to mix these three shades for my cheekbones this one for my jawline and i mix this two for my nose and the darkest one for my lips guys they blend so easy all the shades i have never had no problem blending them they're not patchy they're beautiful you have everything right here everything you need it's right here why would you want another palette and the formula of all the shades beautiful so from scott Barnes, i have two favorite things out of his whole line i literally love this two palettes right here for the contour palette and the blush palette i just think this is like necessary if you love blush or you love bronzer or you love a contour because you have literally everything you need right here same thing as the contour palette you have the pinks you have the copper you have the coral shades you have this mango beautiful shade that is the one that i have on me right now that shade be bringing like your natural blush and it just look so stunning guys all the shades right here they also blend and beautiful they need no help guys this is just handy you know it's easy to use you have everything right here every time i'm in a rush i grab it because i know i don't have to look for lip else. liners i have these two babies and both of them they are from mag I have the shade Work and the shade Cork, but I use this so much. I think they match with so many different lipstick shades. For one of them, it's more on the burgundy side, and the other one, it's brown. My favorite nude lipstick so far, it is this baby from Patrick Ta. And this is on the shade All She's Single. It also comes with the same shade lip liner. And I really appreciate that. When brands do that, I love it. Like, I'm a big fan of having the lip liner, the same shade of the lipstick. And this is the perfect nude. It's like, different than all the other ones that I have, guys. Definitely. It have like this mustardy, like, undertone to it. That is just make my lips look so pretty. Look at that shade, guys. It have a lot of pigmentation. I think this is a shade that it looks good on a lot of skin complexions. And it's the perfect shade for like that ombre effect on the lips. So freaking pretty. I love the formula. It's so comfortable on the lips. Love this glow oil from Dior. And this is in the shade Rosewood. And I have this on my purse. On my purse, I use Koala V. Okay, there's a big empty spot right there. And this is just so comfortable to the lips. It's just literally like an oil. You're, You're not, not gonna, gonna be able to see really no pigmentation, but it feels so comfortable on the lips. Purse, Every time I feel my lips dry, this is what I use. And the applicator is what I love the most. It have a thick, very thick applicator, guys. And it covers my whole entire lip. 
every time I'm applying highlighter, guys. I have this palette from Danessa. I bought it at Beautylish. And I honestly think that out of all the highlighters that I have, these ones are the more booming, the more intense that I try yet. I do have another palette right there that I have to try. I don't know which one is gonna be more intense, this one or that one. But so far, guys, these highlighters right here, they leave you blinding. Guys. And you have everything right here. It is a really convenient palette to have. You have pinks, you have gold champagnes you have that white right there which i always like to highlight the bridge of my nose with white highlight so i have one more highlighter and it is this baby from huda beauty i love the packaging guys can you please appreciate this packaging because this is a packaging that you literally have to respect this is not an overspray guys this is gonna be there into your hip pan which i don't know if that's gonna be possible it's a big ass highlighter and please like i love this rose design it's one of the prettiest highlighters that i have in my collection and i really use this for my body i like to use it right here on my chest it looks so pretty on my body with my skin complexion and i love the formula i have a couple of bronzers and i'm gonna start with my top 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 of the tops you know that this is my favorite bronzer this is on the shade gold dust if you know me you know i love gold this combination of white with gold it's killing the game i know this baby comes in a couple of shades this one is on the shade gold dust and this one is the one that i love and this one is the one that i recommend it's not completely matte but it doesn't have no glitter it does have a sheen but it's a sheen that you're gonna be able to see when you go outside and the sun hits you something really natural really something like a glow coming with an in it's just beautiful guys the undertone of this bronzer it's so natural everything guys like oh my god i need to buy another one i know I another just... baby it is this one from charlotte tubbery i have a two of them i have this one in the shade 10 and i have deep deep is too deep the 10 one is okay for my skin complexion i love it too i love the packaging i love the formula of it so it is worth the buy guys you're gonna love this powder everybody and their mother love this bronzer i have right here my goa from chanta kyle this is another bronzer that i always use it is a little bit on the red undertone but trust me you don't see it on the face at least i don't see it on mine I use it and I put quite a lot and mm -mm, it looks stunning on my skin complexion. Now I have this baby from Tom Ford and Intensity 3. I bought mine at Nordstrom. They don't have Intensity 3 at Sephora. And this is my favorite cream product, guys. I use this baby. I contour my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, my lips, everything with this baby. And guys, the way it blends, mm -mm. There's no other one that blends like this baby for sure. I don't normally color corrector a lot, but I do love this color corrector from Tella Tubbery. This is the number three, 10. And I grab a little bit with my finger and put it on top of whatever little mark I wanna cover. And trust me, it does the job. It covers whatever imperfection you have in your face. So nice. You can blend your foundation right on top of it and it's not hard to blend. Like sometimes you have some orange or green color correctors they're so hard to blend that when you're blending your foundation on top of it you can still see the orange and the green peeking through now with this one guys this one it totally disappears out of your face beautiful this is another baby that i have on my purse that means i use it a lot and it's this lipstick from a rare beauty on the shade courage i have it right here and i think this is such a unique shade i love the shade it looks so pretty on the lips and it feels so comfortable on the lips the smell gets me all the times but i try to ignore the fact of the smell because i love the formula of this lipstick right there i try all the new mascaras literally that came out in 2020 and the only mascara that i liked was this one from pomegranate this is a dark stark or something like that it is really black and it gives me so much volume so much length this is so freaking in point and i need to buy another one because this one is already like almost done but i 
freaking love this mascara. For my eyeliner, I have this baby from Rare Beauty. And I've been using this baby a lot. Every time I want to do a wing or every time I want to put liquid eyeliner on my eyes, I have it on me right now. And it is so easy to use. So if you're not like a pro pro to do wings or apply liquid eyeliners, this baby right here, it's going to help you out. It's now I have this pen, pencil, pencil, yes, from Anastasia. And this is the one that I use to clean my brow bones. If yeah. you're a beginner, I totally recommend you to get this little baby right here. This is for that. It's Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector. I know it's a little bit like messed up, but this is really good if you're a beginner and you want to clean your brow bone. I have these two babies right here from Patrick Ta, and this is the cream blushes that he released not so long ago. I have the color She's So LA and do we know her which is like a regular coral shade but this brown right here i really use a lot for when i don't want to wear either a coral or a pinky i use this brown that it match with literally whatever i look i'm wearing um, charlotte Tilbury blushes i have this one on the shade walk of no shame walk of no shame yes and i think out of the whole collection that she have of blushes this shade is the best shade. This is products that I literally use every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for another great video. I love you all so damn much. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope now you are considering a subscriber. Go down below, click the little red button, and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload a video. Mwah. See you on the next one.